Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're going to take a look at these 9900 milliamp hour rechargeable 18650 batteries that I purchased off of Amazon in a two pack. The thing about it is I'm not quite sure that they're 9900 milliamp hours or 9.9 .9 amp hours and we're about to find out. What I have here is a West Mountain Radio computer based analyzer that I've been using for a few years and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I paid about $180 for it. This model happens to be the Pro 50560. So all I'm gonna do today is hook this up to the computer, hook a battery up to this, and we're gonna take a look at the software to see how this battery actually performs and what its rating really is. Let's get started. Here we are in the West Mountain Radio software, which is very easy to use. I clicked on mission profile, I went to the blue section, and I typed in that it was a lithium ion battery since it is an 18650. I did not touch anything on the voltage, but I did put in the battery capacity as advertised as 9.9 .9 amp hours. I click detect, at that point it tells me what the voltage is and how many cells I have. Here's a demonstration. If I click detect, it says it's a 4.2 volt battery and it has one cell and it also changed our cutoff voltage to the correct cutoff voltage of 3.1 volts. The average current draw, if I hit suggest, it will tell me that it's going to suggest that I use 1C or 9.9 .9 amperes. The thing about that is though, I don't really trust that this battery is, is that. So I'm going to cut that in half just to be generous while we find out the capacity. Other than that, I am going to check for a pass and fail using the capacity of the battery and a percentage. It suggests that I use 80, so if it goes above an 80% threshold, this is a pass. Now I'm gonna click start. I'm not a battery expert, I never claimed to be, but I did find this interesting. We see an initial drop in voltage, it levels out for a bit and then it declines. It hits 3.1 volts where the test cuts off per the West Mountain Radio recommendations. You could see that the test is complete and it's a 1.149 amp hour or 1150 milliamp hour battery with a 3.9 watt hour rating. And you can see how long the test ran for at a half of a C. I got a big brain idea and we're gonna roll with it. So I did get two of these batteries from Scamazon and we're going to test battery number two from Scamazon. The cutoff voltage, I've now set it to 2.75 volts, which from my reading and my understanding, it's the absolute bare minimum an 18650 can operate at. You could see here I have the test amps set down to 1.5 or 1C because I'm assuming that the capacity is somewhere around 1.5 amp hours or 1500 milliamp hours. The voltage of this battery when I click detect does show 4.2 volts with one cell set to lithium iron. And we're gonna go ahead and test it again to see if and get an official idea of what the actual capacity of this battery is. Now, I think that it's a pretty good indicator that maybe we should be on alert when we're purchasing things from Amazon.com, LiExpress, Wish, Timu, all of those places. For example, and in today's case, an 18650 battery like you see here. This battery will cut off also at 3.1 volts, and we're still somewhere right around 1.5 amp hours. We'll see here in just a moment. However, if you see an 18650 cell, that's a single cell on Amazon and it says 9900 milliamp hours, this gives you the opportunity to actually question, is it what it says? And obviously with this 18650 battery, it's just not. With that, I hope you have a good one. I hope this video helped you out. Take care in 73.